Well, I'm starting today's story here at the museum because the car in today's story probably deserves a place in there. It's the longest running, most manufactured car of a single platform that's ever been made and its 78 year old history carries many, many iconic moments. It's an icon in itself. Ironically, this iconic old car brings out the youth in you, makes you want to be a kid, makes you want to do things differently, have fun, which is why we're out on a shoot at night for a change. Well, today's car isn't really old because it's the 2016 version of the iconic Beetle. Now, if I got into a modern day car and saw an interior like this, I'd say, oh God, old school and passe. But here in the Beetle, it really adds to the character and appeal of this car. You know, this flat upright dash, the four glove box on top, the real one lies underneath, the hooded binnacle that houses the dial, these oddly shaped handles. But that's really where the retro ends because everything else is pretty modern, be it the steering wheel, the seats, this bright splash of colour across the dash that's very Gen X and of course this modern touchscreen infotainment system. And what really makes this car all the more fun to drive now is the 1.4 litre turbo petrol TSI engine and I'm headed to a free stretch of road to enjoy it. The engine is the 148 BHP version seen in the Octavia and the Beetle being a smaller and lighter car means this engine feels really lively. It's really a nice engine and it may not have super quick numbers on paper but it feels nice and sprightly and peppy out on the road. Makes it fun to drive. You know the car, the night shoot, this feeling of freedom. It's just got me into the mood for this leisurely drive out on this open stretch of road. I've got the windows down, the sunroof open, the temperature's great. And what's really nice is that this gearbox, you know, lets me sit in 7th at reasonably low RPMs. And yet, if I want to get a quick move on, all I have to do is put my foot down, quick shift, and I'm ready to go. It's smooth and barely lets you know it's shifting even at lower speeds. Also, running around at lower RPMs means fuel efficiency will improve. At higher speeds, at straight line, the Beetle really feels planted and solid and composed. Yes, it does have a fair bit of roll around corners. It's no Mini Cooper in the way that it drives. But it still goes around the corners pretty well. And the steering just adds to the feel of confidence. Well, freeway done, we were headed off to see if we could settle into a spot to get our static filming done. And on the way there... Now, going over the rougher parts of Bombay and the... potholed, pockmarked roads, I've got a chance to realise how pretty darn good the ride of the Beetle really is. It pretty much absorbs all these bumps and potholes and it's only the sharper ones that catch it out. It's been an entertaining night with a nice long drive, good music, time to just be free. You know, when the fun stories happen, I'm always the one relegated to the back because everybody else stands in line. But the reason I got to do this one so easily was because everybody said this is a chick car. Well, it's done a lot to change its looks. The roof has gone flatter, the tailgate is more upright, the tail lamps aren't the cute little blobs and at the front a longer bonnet, wide chiselled air dam and sharper bumper show its business side. Yes, the signature round headlamps remain but even they are ringed with crescent shaped LED running lamps for a little more menace. The new shape has allowed the Beetle to be quite practical. Apart from a very large boot, you get loads of room in the front and a sufficient amount in the two rear bucket seats as well only headroom is a bit tight. Well, 
to sum it up, you know, I could go on on technicalities. There's a lot else that's around at 30 lakhs and it may seem like the Beetle has stiff competition. I could talk about how it's grown as a car, it's more spacious, it's more comfortable and it's definitely more fun to drive. But it's not really about that, it's about this, what I'm doing now. It's 3 a.m. in the morning, I've never felt this wide awake. I'm eating Anda Pau at Churchgate Station, something I haven't done in ages. And it's all thanks to this car. It's made me go out and just do the things I've wanted to do that I haven't done in a very long time. It's the character, it's the soul of this car and it's iconic status, that's its biggest draw.